Hi there. My name is Autumn Adams, and I will be sharing a yoga nidra with you. It was a yoga nidra inspired by the ocean from the time when I lived in Santa Barbara, California. Um, for yoga nidra, go ahead and grab any props that you might need or want. Um, I would recommend at least a blanket under your body if you are lying on the floor. Maybe a folded blanket underneath your head. If you have a bolster, a couple of um, couch pillows, you could slide those underneath your knees or a bed pillow would work as well. Yoga Nidra is typically practiced in Shavasana, so lying flat on your back. But if that's not comfortable for you, feel free to sit or lie on your side. For Shavasana, um, Again, slide that bolster underneath your knees and a blanket underneath the back of your head. The head does tend to get a little heavy um, as we practice, especially once we hold it for a little, hold um, the pose for a little longer. Um, so by the end of practice, your head might feel a little heavy, you might have a little bit of pain. So definitely support your head, pillow, folded blanket should do the trick. The body temperature also tends to drop. So maybe have a blanket over your body as well if the room you are practicing in is cold. You want to make sure that you have as minimal distractions as possible. So that might mean closing your door to your room. It might be sending the kids out to play in the yard uh, or out on a walk with, their, with your partner. Carve this time out just for you. Take the next couple of minutes to get really comfortable, adjust your props, your clothing, and remove any distractions, again, from your space. Once we're in the practice of yoga nidra, you will want to remain still for the duration. Settle in, take care of any last minute wiggles and invite in a sense of stillness and calm. Close down your eyes and bring your awareness to your breath. Without changing your breath, simply witness it. Witness the rise and fall of your breath at your belly. Witness this sacred and natural rhythm, unhurried, unrestricted. Stay with the rise and fall of your breath. Witness its ebb and flow. Your inhale releases into your exhale. Your exhale surrenders into your inhale. In Yoga Nidra, we work with a Sankalpa. His sankalpa is a positive I am statement that is true at the core of who you are. It is your essence simplified into a short positive I am statement. Bring into your mind's eye your sankalpa. Once it has formed, repeat it quietly and internally to yourself three times. An example of a sankalpa could be, I am the witness, I am love, I am the divine mother, I am a creative being of light. It's who you are at your core. Remain aware of my voice and be still throughout the remainder of practice. The practice of yoga nidra begins now. Remain aware of my voice and do not sleep. I will guide you through a rotation of consciousness. All you have to do is follow along 
and move your awareness from point to point within your body. Move your awareness to your mouth. Become aware of your tongue, lower jaw, lower row of teeth, upper row of teeth, gums, upper lip, lower lip, space between your lips, both cheeks, right ear, left ear, forehead, both temples, top of the head, back of the head, tip of the nose, right nostril, left nostril, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, space between the eyebrows. Now go to the right hand, the right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, little finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, right armpit, ribs, waist, hip, right thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe. Now go to the left hand, the left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, little finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, left armpit, ribs, waist, hip, left thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe, groin, right buttock, left buttock, lower back, mid back, upper back, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck, back of the head, right inner ear, left inner ear, roof of the mouth, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right chest, 
left chest, middle chest, upper abdomen, navel, lower abdomen, groin, whole spine, the whole head, right arm, left arm, both arms together, the whole right leg, the whole left leg, both legs together, whole front body, whole back body. Be aware of the whole body. Now bring your awareness to your breath. Experience your breath as it is. Follow its natural tide without altering it. Experience the pranic tide of your breath as if your whole body is breathing. Vibrant white light flowing in and out with each cycle of breath. Waves of sparkling light washing over you with each inhale and falling away with each exhale. Each inhale peaking like a wave of prana cresting and then giving way to the exhale. Experience the peaks and valleys of your breath like the waves of an ocean. Now count each breath. Count down from 54 to zero. Inhale, 54. Exhale, 53. Inhale, 52. Exhale, 51. If you lose count, simply begin again.
Now bring your awareness to an experience of pleasure. Welcome the feeling of pleasure into your being. Hold your awareness on the experience of pleasure. Now bring your awareness to an experience of pain. Meet the feeling of pain with equanimity. Experience it fully. Hold your awareness on the experience of pain. Now bring your awareness to your body. Feel your body, mind, and soul contracting, becoming smaller and smaller. All at once, the body expands, the mind expands, and the soul expands. Body, mind, and soul expanding into the infinite, boundless. Now bring your awareness to the experience of holding tightly. Experience the gripping in your body and mind. Now bring your awareness to the experience of letting go. Experience the release in your body and mind. I will now describe images to you. Experience them without attachment and allow them to wash over you. Your bare feet on the earth. You see a meandering path. Tall tufts of grass line the trail. Follow the path toward the sound of the ocean. You glimpse the ocean's glimmering waves. The sea is calm. Your path gently gives way to a wide stretch of golden sand. You see the vast expanse of sea stretching out before you. And the sun dances off the crest of each gentle wave. Your breath in sync with the rhythmic pulse of the ocean. Miles of shimmering sand in each direction. Seabirds dart and dive. Puffs of clouds drift overhead. Dolphins play just beyond the waves. You walk over to the water's edge. 
with each step, little crabs scurry away. May you stop and roll up your jeans. The water flows over your toes. Tiny shells, little gems, and sparkly stones turned and tossed by the gentle sea. A perfect shell washes up to your feet. You reach down and pick it up, admiring its perfection. You peacefully slide it into your pocket and walk along the beach toward distant cliffs. A large piece of driftwood provides a spot to sit and rest. You turn your gaze toward the horizon and you take in your surroundings. A sense of ease washes over you. You reach into your pocket and pull out the shell. You turn it over in your hands, one, two, three times. And you see a tiny inscription. It is your sankalpa, your essence. Now repeat your sankalpa internally to yourself. Speak it into the deepest layers of your being with meaning and intention. Gently bring your awareness back to your physical body, lying on the earth. Experience your breath as the waves of an ocean. Sensation coming back in. Sensation pouring back in. Arms legs, torso, head. Without opening your eyes, find a bit of movement. Little tiny movements to start. And finally, a full body stretch. And the practice of yoga nidra is now complete. When you are ready, roll over onto your side and pause there for a breath 
or two before coming up to a seat. I hope that you enjoyed this yoga nidra from the bottom of my heart to yours. Namaste.